in this lecture i am going to explain you how to do ledger posting then balancing of accounts and then preparation of trial balance you know the process of accounting is basically you know first of all we have to record all the financial transactions and then those transactions should be classified and then summarize this is the last stage and after that of course we do the interpretation of the balance sheet and pnl which we make okay this recording of transactions is done in journal and classification is done in ledger today we are talking about ledger posting and balancing which is done in ledger now what is a ledger ledger is a book wherein we have all the accounts accounts pertaining to persons that is personal accounts real accounts nominal accounts all accounts are contained in this book okay so from journal all the entries are posted to ledger this ledger contains accounts of say cash account bank account building machinery salaries wages and so on all the accounts so now today i am going to explain you the process how we go about the ledger let me first of all tell you about the posting in the ledger first of all you must know the format of the ledger for example if this is an account it has two sides this side is called debit side and this side is called credit side and the columns are first column here is date okay then particulars after this journal folio journal folio is the page number of the journal from where the entry is being posted to the account this is amount in say rupees or dollars whatever you like again for the credit side same but uh, items date particulars journal folio and then you have amount this is the format of ledger in which all the accounts are kept this could be of anything for example if it is a cash account i'll just tell you how the posting will be done in this account if our journal entry is cash account debited to capital account say 50000 now this means what it means that cash account should be debited with 50000 and this is cash account here we will put the date for example if the date is 1411 so date will be put here 1411 and now this cash account is being debited and the corresponding account is capital account so we will write here to capital account for example if this entry is on page number 1 of journal so this one will be written here and amount is 50000 it will come on this side similarly for the capital account the journal entry will be posted like this this is the you see now i am not writing all these details because you have understood it 
for capital account or for other accounts, I will be just making the T account. Okay. Now, capital account is being credited by fifty thousand, and the corresponding account is cash account. And we write here like this: by cash account fifty thousand. And this to and by, they don't have any significance as such, but we have been doing it, and nowadays people don't do it also. And if you don't write by and to here, it won't affect you. Okay, you can keep it or leave it, no problems. So this is the way entries are posted. Now let us take the other uh, general entries. For example, if we buy goods on cash. Say for twenty thousand, our entry will be purchase account debited to cash. Say twenty five thousand. In this case again, purchase account will be debited and cash account will be credited. If this is our Purchase account. Now purchasing being debited, so we write to cash twenty five thousand. Cash account is being credited, hence cash account will be credited. And what is the corresponding account? Purchase account by purchase account. Amount is twenty five. Thousand. Okay. Now our third entry is bank account debited to cash. That means we deposit the cash in bank. So bank account debited to cash. Say fifteen thousand. Now in this case, bank account is being debited. And cash account is being credited, so let us debit the bank account. Now, if this is our bank account, this is being debited, and the corresponding account which is being credited is cash. So we we'll write to cash fifteen thousand, and again cash account is being credited, hence. We'll write here by bank account fifteen thousand. Okay. Our next entry is we buy furniture through check that is through bank for say ten thousand. So what will be our entry for that? Furniture account debited to bank. Ten thousand. Now you see, in this case, furniture account is being debited, and bank account is being credited. So we will open furniture account here. Furniture account. This is being debited, and the corresponding account is bank to bank ten thousand. Okay, and we are crediting bank account. So bank account will be credited, and corresponding account is furniture account. So by furniture account ten thousand. i hope it's quite clear and let me take another general entry if we sell goods for cash our entry will be cash account debited to sales let us take it cash account debited to sales Say twenty-eight thousand. Again, cash account is being debited and sales account is being credited. So here it will be 
to sales account how much 28000 and sales account is being credited by 28000 hence we will open sales account here sales account now sales account is being credited and the corresponding account which is being debited is cash so we will write by cash account 28,000 our next entry is if we sell goods on credit to say Suresh we sell him goods on credit so our entry will be Suresh account debited to sales Suresh account debited to sales account say 12,000 In this case, Suresh account is being debited by 12,000. So we need to open another account that is Suresh account. So Suresh account will be debited to sales 12,000. And sales account is being credited by 12,000. Right, so sales account will be credited and what will be written there? Suresh account because that is the account which is being debited. So by Suresh account 12,000. Okay, <clears throat> so you have understood how things move in this manner. Okay, for example, if we pay salaries through check, our entry will be salary account debited to bank salary account debited to bank say 2000 rupees so we will need to open another account that is salary account and bank account will be credited so salary account it will be debited to bank 2000 and bank account will be credited by 2000 by what salary 2000 okay if all these are the entries which have been made say for a month then after one month you need to check whether you have done everything correctly or not for that you need to make trial balance and prior to that you do balancing and let me tell you very clearly balancing is always done in case of those accounts where both debit and credit sides are used okay and if you look at it mostly personal accounts and real accounts have both sides because for example if we buy machinery, machinery is debited and if we sell machinery, it is credited similarly our debtors and creditors both have which sides? debit side as well as amounts on the credit side hence real accounts and personal accounts are balanced now for example this sales account this, sorry, this is salary account this is an expense account whenever we pay salary it will be go, go on debiting okay so hardly any credit is going to come there so these accounts basically are not balanced that means nominal accounts are not balanced but sometimes they are also but that is an exception for example if we paid salary to this person 2000 wrongly and later on uh, think that we paid him more and we recover 500 from the person whom we had given this salary so our entry will be what at that time cash account debited to salary so in that case salary account will be credited by 500 naturally then we will balance this account as well but as a matter of principle in normal circumstances real accounts and personal accounts both are balanced and nominal accounts are not normally balanced now let us see how balancing is done in case of balancing we total the bigger side first now in this case the total is 78,000 of debit side 
and credit side total is 40,000. If we subtract from 78,000, 40,000 40, balance is 38,000. So we write it like this by balance carried down 40,000 and we write 78,000 here. We put the double line here. Okay. Now, in case of capital account, now this is a liability account as far as the business is concerned. Okay. So these accounts, these accounts are not, you know, uh, they can be, uh, if by chance if there was any debit, we would have balanced it. But now again, this balance will be carried forward. And in case of purchase account, now these accounts are basically transferred to your trading account mm -hmm. okay these are not carried forward to the next year but these accounts like capital account our real accounts all these accounts are because the capital account this being a personal account will be carried forward to next year cash account will be carried forward to the next year bank account will be carried forward to the next year furniture account will be carried forward these being the real accounts real and personal accounts will be carried forward and if there are two sides, we'll balance them, okay? But all those accounts which are of nominal nature, like salary account, sales account, purchase account, they are normally close to our trading account or profit and loss account. All real accounts and personal accounts are shown in the balance sheet. So this is the way balancing is done. And in the next year or in the next month, for example, this will be brought forward to balance brought forward that is 38,000 if for let me make one clarification if this was monthly totaling or monthly balancing then same books will be used and this amount will be carried forward in the same account but if this was for the whole year then of course we will have to open new year's books and these amounts will be carried forward in the accounts of new year's books that is next accounting year's books okay for that we use opening journal entries about those i will discuss in my next lecture but it is suffice to understand that if it is for monthly or quarterly then these are carried forward in the same account but otherwise they are carried forward in the next year's or next accounting period and for that we use opening journal entries let us now prepare trial balance okay now what is trial balance trial balance is basically a list of accounts i mean list of all those accounts which are in our ledger all those accounts which have debit balance are put on one side of the trial balance and all those balances which have credit balance are put on the other side and if we have not committed any arithmetical mistake then total of both sides of the trial balance should tally okay it's quite obvious because every journal entry has two aspects and each account is debited with the same amount and this, the other account is also credited with the same amount hence if we take in totality the debit balance is in our ledger and credit balance in our ledger should be equal and if we have committed a, an arithmetical mistake then this trial balance will not tally. Let us from this information, let us make the trial balance. And you must understand that trial balance is always on a particular date. Trial balance. as on we had started on 1431 so we can say 30th April if it is for one month now let us see what is the balance of cash it is 38,000 now it is what which balance it is a debit balance because debit side was bigger and that's why to balance the other side we had written here and carry it forward again to the debit side. So it's a debit balance. 
and here it will be cash account thirty eight thousand. Now what about capital account? It has fifty thousand to its credit. So to balance carried forward fifty thousand. Now it is a credit balance. Capital account fifty thousand. And what about purchase account? It is a debit balance. Okay, so twenty five thousand will be put here. Purchase account debit is twenty five thousand. And here we have sales account. Its total is forty thousand. It's a credit balance. So, sales account forty thousand. Now, bank account. Let us balance it. Bigger side is debit side, fifteen thousand, and total of this credit side is twelve thousand. So, balance is three thousand. So, by balance carried forward, three thousand. Okay, so balance will be brought forward here. To balance brought forward three thousand. So basically, you know, it is a debit balance because this side was bigger, and to balance the credit side, we have written three thousand here. So bank account three thousand, and let us see furniture account. It is ten thousand only, so balance will be carried forward. Ten thousand. It's again a debit balance. And Suresh account. Suresh account again. It is a debit balance. Its balance will be carried forward by balance carried forward twelve thousand. It will be brought forward again in the next accounting period. So Suresh account is a debit balance. He is our debtor. Now salary account. It's a nominal account. It is two thousand. Again a debit balance. Salary account two thousand. If we have not committed any mistake, then the total of both sides should tally. This is ninety thousand, and this is. Again, ninety thousand. That means this trial balance is telling. The indication is that at least we have not committed any error of omission. It means arithmetically our books are correct. But telling of trial balance does not mean that uh, there could not be other mistakes. For example, the mistakes of principal could be there. For example, we bought a machinery and debited it to purchase account. now it is an error of principle but telling of trial balance will not tell us about this in my next lecture i will talk about the errors which are normally committed and because of which trial balance does not tell how to correct them will be explained in my next lecture and i hope you found it very interesting and you are very clear about what i have done about all these entries about ledger posting balancing and trial balance okay thank you so much